Hey everybody, uh, Dan and Dave, <laughs> we are road tripping today. Right. So nice rainy day. You can see yep. the rain that's out there. Uh, we're going to be going through some construction, and do we ever have a lot of construction around our, our area? It's everywhere right now. I think every major road coming into town yeah. is ate up with construction. North, so. south, uh, definitely west. Yep. Uh, every one of them has got barricades up, redoing medians, redoing uh, individual lanes, yep. and uh, we're going to take uh, take a ride here and see what we're looking for when we enter into construction zones. There you go. That's right. All right, here we go, everybody. Uh, wish me luck. All right, Dan. Well, I know the camera's probably not picking it up, but we got a sign right here. You know, road construction next three miles. So that's yep. our first indication, right? Right. And now you can see that arrow that's up there, however yep. long. That's your first thing. So what are you, what are you looking for once you're going to start entering into here? Yeah. As soon as I see that arrow, the first thing I want to do is immediately I want to know that I'm going to be able to get into the lane that I need to be in before I get to the intersection. I don't want to wait until the last minute. I want to get in that lane as soon as possible. So, so that's the first thing I'm going to do. Just basically check my mirrors and when I can make the lane change, make the lane change uh, to be in the right lane. Uh, I'm seeing up there some flashing red lights. So yep. that's definitely going to be a stop. Right. So, you know, you're kind of taking all of this stuff in well before when you're entering uh, the row construction right off the bat, correct? That's just, that's right. I mean, um, you know, you're looking at everything. It's, uh, one of the methods is keeping your eyes, you know, uh, looking well ahead, um, looking for workers. I got to pay attention to other people that are driving. I got to pay attention to the people that are probably going to come up into the lane on my right and try to whip it in front of me. Um, I'm also going to make sure that I'm slowing down and uh, just being prepared for anything. Once you come up up on here, and obviously, you know, today's going to be a, a day. There's probably not going to be workers. It's raining. Odds are it's not going to be workers. But once you reach into where you got barrels and lights and, and everything else, you know, you're obviously you're work, looking for workers, uh, equipment, and kind of what they're actually doing. So, you know, you know that your lane over here in this lane is clear, so that's what the one you're paying most attention to, correct? That's right, yep, that's right. Now now that I'm in the construction zone, I'm paying attention to really what's in front of me. I don't have to worry about anybody coming around the side of me. Uh, obviously still checking my mirrors, but uh, now it's just a matter of, you know, focusing on, you know, my lane. And being able to stay on the, on the road after that just bump you just hit there. Yeah. I mean, yeah, it about just, rattled my teeth out of my that's head. That's the thing because a lot of times, you know, that these roads, you know, right here where they're actually doing the work, I mean, a lot of times they got you on drop offs and and everything. So, you know, you've got to kind of hang on every once in a while. That's right. I mean, you'll see up here, there's another, we've got a bridge. So they've kind of paved this, but then the bridge is, there's no pavement going into that. So it's just another, you know, big bump. All the more reason just to kind of slow down. Like right now, I mean, I'm obviously hitting the brakes and slowing down. Um, I don't want to hit these bumps going full speed, you know, through the through the construction zone. No, I mean, for you know, for the most part, uh, construction zones are getting more narrow uh, all the time, not giving you as much room, giving themselves more room. Which, I mean, I understand that to a point, but um, it also could be some of the reasons that uh, you're seeing more accidents in these construction zones is because uh, they're not giving you a whole hell of a lot of room. Well, the combination of you don't have much room and, you know, just because it's a construction zone for most people doesn't mean they're still not distracted. So, you know, you've got less room and people are distracted a lot. People are still going to, you know, listen, uh, this is about a two mile stretch of construction right here. There's a lot of people that can't go two miles without checking their phone. No, know? absolutely. So. That's the biggest thing, you know. The people that's driving in the four wheelers, first thing they want to do when they got to slow down, check the phone, that's right? right. Yep. Yeah, and then you're going to check the phone when your lane looks about this wide. Right. Yeah, wrong time. That's right. All right, Dan. So uh, here we are coming off the interstate, and this is one of my most favorite things. Coming off the interstate, <laughs> driving right into construction, right into a merge point yep. where you're going to see all these vehicles. Yep. I mean, you know, 
the most important part here is you're just not going to go fast. I'm going to signal my intention and I'm just going to stay in the lane I'm in right now and not force my way in until somebody gives me an opening, you know? Right. And, and then I'm going to work my way over. But, you know, that's why our signals are important to let people know what our intentions are so that they can give us the space we need to get over. The first construction zone we were in, I was focused in on the lane, you know, just my lane. You didn't see anybody in front of me. Now, you know, I've got vehicles that have been in front of me. It's raining today, you know, make sure I give it a lot more space cushion uh, in front of me in case something happens and I have to stop. I want to make sure I've got plenty of plenty of time to be able to get stopped. Well, so yeah, especially in, in the construction zones because, you know, that's that's one of those you just never know. I mean, and next thing you know, somebody sees brake lights and then all of them come on. And if you're following too close, especially in the rain, uh, you can get yourself in trouble. That's right. We won't show that yellow light that Dan just ran through. Stale green light. Uh, ah, gotcha. You pick a point, a decision point. Yeah. That's uh, what I did. Is that what you did? That's what I did. Okay. All right, Dan, so now you see that uh, you're coming up here to the end. So what's, I mean, are there things that you're going to do prior to uh, or during when you get to the end? Yeah, I'm at, obviously I'm looking at my on-ramps coming on. I'm checking my mirrors to see how close the people that are behind me are to me. I want to make sure that they're not, you know, waiting for me to just get through it and then all of a sudden buzz around one side or the other, you know. And I've got another ramp coming on here, and that's just, you know, once you come out of it, it's just back to normal, you know. But the main thing is just making sure, checking your mirrors, making sure the people that are behind you aren't going to try to zip around you, you know. Yeah, because, I mean, you know, rope construction coming out of it or going into it, I mean, hey, it's just another merge point. Right. And, you know, you got to be, your head's got to be on a swivel, you got to be looking around checking those mirrors, making sure you know where everybody's at behind you right? so that you're not going to get a surprise once you lead into that or out of it, either one. That's a point in time right there that we don't ex expect a side swipe. That's a very easy spot to have a side swipe accident. Absolutely. So. All right. Well, there you go, everybody. That is entering and exiting construction zones. And God, I hope we don't have to drive on these roads very much longer. I know. Me too. <laughs>